Hi, I'm Mr. L. That's the easiest way to say my name. You could say Lukashevsky, but that is a mouthful. I'm coming to you in this video because I want to give you a few expectations of this year. You can do anything that you set your mind to. That includes completing this class. Now you will notice that this class is set up sequentially. You cannot do an assignment until you have finished the previous one. And it goes in that order because what we are looking at is English literature. We go back to about 700 AD and come all the way through 1650s in English 12A and all the way to modern times in English 12B. So it's important that you follow that order. I'm going to have lots of tools for you to use. And one of the first ones is Remind. Remind is a text messaging service. So I can send you quick, easy reminders, uh, little bits of information that would be helpful for you in class. Sign up for it. That's in the next assignment. There are many other items uh, that we'll see throughout the year. And it may look daunting here on the first couple days of our class. But rest assured, if you keep a schedule, do a little bit every day, you're going to make it. And I'm not worried if your grade is a 95 or if it's a 65. I want you to get past that 60 mark so that you can pass and not have to take this class anymore. I have a little statement that I'm going to read off from the side here. And it says, success is about being your best self, not about being better than others. Failure is an opportunity, not a condemnation. But effort is the key to your success. If you think about that every day, give the effort. You will be successful. In our class, you need to spend one hour minimum per day. And there will be some items where you'll need to do additional reading that you can do in the evening, sort of like a homework. We don't have homework because we're working in our class all the time. If you have questions anytime, Please ask me. I want to see you be successful. And I know you can overcome any obstacle in front of you. You can tell by the shirt I'm wearing. It's got this word here that says Parkinson's. About two years ago, I was running 5Ks. And by the time we came into the holiday season, in order for me to go my, with my wife shopping, at the holidays, I had to use a wheelchair. Shortly after that, I was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, but I do pretty well. I keep on plugging away. I have high expectations for myself. And I know that I can do just about anything. I can't run anymore. Doctor took that away this summer when he gave me a new knee. So I'm slowly on the mend, but I'm getting there. What I'm trying to say is there are lots of excuses that we can use that can prevent us from being our best. But it's up to you what you do with that. You can let those excuses get in the way or can you can use those excuses as motivation and saying, I will never let that happen to me. I'm here to support you in this journey we call education. Remember this. In my class, I believe that working smarter, not harder, is the key to your success. It's been the key to mine. So I look forward to this journey that we're about to take. And I can't wait to see where it takes us. I'll never forget a student last year who struggled, who actually took my class multiple times. 
but try to do it his way. Try to do, it, you know, I'm going to do this and I'm not going to do that. And didn't always give the effort. And when he finally had that goal, he wanted to graduate. He was successful because for him, there were no more excuses. And he had a goal to graduate. I will get you there. Come on board with me. I look forward to hearing from you. And don't forget, sign up for Remind. It's a way for us to connect through text. So, I will be talking to you soon. There will be lots of videos this year. We're going to have some fun. Until then, have yourself a great day. And I'll talk to you real soon. Bye.